How did it all start? Well, it was actually kind of almost a, an unspoken dare between myself and Javier Salas, who's the owner of XTC Dive Center. Uh, we've been running dive trips out to Chinchorro for many years, uh, and during our surface interval between dives, when we have lunch, uh, we guide all of our clients around the central island. Um, but myself and Javier decided to let the captains do this on this particular day, and we were lounging in the hut, legs dangling over the side, and we saw this fairly small kind of two meter crocodile swinging directly underneath us. We'd known for a while that the crocs were in the water here and that the local fishermen would be in the water with them occasionally. So we obviously had this instinctive knowledge that perhaps it wasn't as dangerous as you'd think. So we kind of looked at each other, had a little bit of a moment, looked down again. Eh, what do you reckon? And looked each other in the eye and both clearly at the same moment went, yeah, why the hell not? And decided, yeah, we were going to jump in the water and see what happened. So we grabbed a pole and a lionfish spear and basically very gently lowered ourselves into the water with a mask and snorkel, expecting the worst to happen. But 10 or 15 minutes later, all we'd had was an amazing experience of this crocodile just swimming around us, just doing its thing in its natural environment. And so that's really where the whole idea started. There's a reasonable amount of information in all the initial email communications. We give them a description of where they're going to be going, roughly how long they're going to be spending in the water with them. And most of the customers have already seen a lot of the photos online, but nothing can really prepare them for the actual visceral experience that they're going to be um, entering into. It's not until we actually get here and they see the environment, the kind of the fishermen's huts, the beautiful clear waters here, that they start to realize exactly how it's going to be. And the briefing itself is deliberately oriented towards almost putting a little bit of fear into people because we want people to respect these animals. We have some really good kind of safety protocols in place. There's never ever been an instance where a crocodile has actually managed to get into contact or even come close to hurting someone. So I think from the customer's perspective, there's a whole load of anticipation, a little bit of nerves, perhaps even a little bit of fear, and then this incredible feeling of, oh wow, this is just absolutely mind-blowing when they get in there and they're just a few feet away from one of these incredible creatures. 